Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with a random hatchet I found on the sidewalk. Again, known you for at least three years now. <laughs> uh, but before our I will, again, I will, I will not take this disrespect. But yeah, before I start the game, uh, my news, basically. Uh, hold on, I gotta look at the schedule. I, I should have looked at the schedule before hitting over. Oh boy. Starting... Professional VTuber, everyone. Uh, February 18th, which I think is when, yeah, when I put the first SCP stream I haven't done in a while. With a, a game I have not tried out yet. Basically, uh, for games that mainly are single player and it don't have like it's not like a visual novel or something like that, I'm gonna start trying just being a solo stream. Gotcha. Doesn't mean I won't like maybe once in a while I'll pull people in or something like that. It's just gotcha. I want to do that. I meant to do that starting last year, but then we got into too many multiplayer games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's valid. Alright. So, anyways, let's get started. Okay, chatty Cassie like to get to know my characters. Cassie will talk a fair amount. Silent Night, I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak or plot critical lines. I mean, I would like to know more about the game. Like, the story. Yeah. Games. Oh, we actually get to choose. Story. Experience the ghost story of Echo Bluff. Echo Bluff Free of, of significant danger. Her narrative enthusiasts and explorers. Spooky. Mix of story and danger. <laughs> Gen Apple Bright. Uh, more of like a uh, light. <laughs> Is Gen Apple said. The original version of the game, dying breaks, brings you to the entrance to Echo Bluff with all your progress intact. For people who enjoy a bit of risk. Scary. Enemies are much more aggressive. Dying brings you to the main menu for those who enjoy a challenge. Yeah, we're going to score it. Uh, I was thinking spooky. Oh, too late. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I probably will say she's, um, she's just scared of me. She's when you're blind, defense. you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie! Never gonna find Cassie! <laughs> Cassie, you can't see! You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now. What's in front of a fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, <laughs> excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Uh, I'm good, Janapple. And most how importantly, you? you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, this, is it. this is actually a really cool concept. Hmm. Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want to sleep. I want my life back. 
and I'm gonna prove I can do this. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Oh, what? That's something interesting I want to uh, look into. Do... Do blind people have dreams in which they can actually see things as if using their eyes? Maybe. I feel like it would make sense for like someone who like had vision at some point in their life and then lost it, but like if someone's born without the sense of sight, would they oh, deep breaths, Jeez. Cassie. You're here for a reason. Would they, like, actually be able to have dreams that feature sight? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Felicia? Great, why are you what like this? A memory? Damn it, Mike. It's because my mic's not probably as close as me as it usually is. So that's probably why I'm not as loud. Oh, there's stairs. My mark's memories appear in green. Okay, so the stairs are made out of metal. What was that? Okay. Not, don't go that way. Okay. If it is loud. All right, hold on. I can fix that. Oh, it it went up. Why did it go up? And that's as much as I can do. I can't actually change the volume of the person's voice.
Bruh. Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. That? Not the person. <sighs> I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? There it is! The rope! This is the rope. The same damn rope for my dreams. What the hell does it mean? Damn. I guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. That was not an echo. I guess great news first. Okay, great news. Let's go towards the sound. What? What do you mean? I... I said great news. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna knock that down a bit. Hello, hello. Okay, so you can hear me now. You might want to you might want to alter your settings a little extra cuz like there when you said hello, all I could hear was a very annoying person. Oh, go fuck yourself. That was really lame. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> was that tree in my dreams and I just forgot? What the hell? Who's here? No one's in here. You know, yelling no one's in here isn't very convincing. Uh, great news. I think that's what that just said. Yeah. sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Okay, so, okay, so let me go over there. So you gotta go there. 
Uh, so what news? Uh, we said great news. Great news. What's the great news? Oh, never mind. We can't even go down here. Hopefully it didn't look anything like that guy coming out of the ground. Yeah, then I guess good news and then bad news. The real top. Congratulations. I love my healthy dose of pills. Lerp. Scan with Delphi. Delphi. Text to speech. Patient. Briar. Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine. Tabs. Instructions. Take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Dyke Doctor? Something tells me that it could be considered, um... Oh, what's the term? Uh... Conflict of interest? But at the same time, like, yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't see much of an issue with it. Search. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just... Concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Also, Jen Apple says good news is I have Taco Bell. Uh, what? Bad news says I dropped my taco. Oh. This well, place that's feels different. I've, I've gotten too accustomed to Wolfenstein. I see you turn like a dark corner. And my first thought is, ah, oh, when's the fucking armored German Shepherd gonna try to eat me? Oh. Oh, reach her memory. Thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. I'm hitting F. Nothing's happening. I guess I can't re trigger that yet. Oh, uh, I mean, you literally just did. Oh. I was a trigger because I didn't even hit F when I picked it up. Yeah, like the. Thank you. You're saying? It... Like, it was very clearly not you speaking. Super. Now that 
I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. You know, like, that's a notable thing, like, anytime someone, like, Anytime someone uh, acts as if um, there's like no risk <coughs> for a woman having pregnancy, it's just like, <clears throat> do you think that it's normal for someone to end up regularly puking their guts out? Like, she's so like I, I still I oh it's Sorry. almost I like she's like hard to look at. Here My again. eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. Like, like, I, I tend to appreciate, like, the fact that, like, pregnancy is a beautiful and challenging thing, but it's just that a challenging thing. Like, assuming that everyone can handle it, ju just, like, speaking purely physically is just so fucking absurd. Yeah. You know what? Here's my idea. Hook up every single quote-unquote pro-life politician to one of those machines that uh, simulates the pain of giving birth. See how long they keep acting as if... Uh, there's no downsides to their positions. Well, that's one way to sculpt. It looks like something I would make is spore. Kinda does, yeah. It's like a weird plant monster. Listen, honey, star-crossed lovers, we are a psychic and a psychiatrist? Oh, that analytical mind of yours is switched on 24-7. Hmm. Until I can get a glass of Merlot into you and maybe slip a Jasper stone under your pillow. <laughs> then you become almost bearable. Oh, no. <clears throat> it's already starting to sound like, hey, you're in a very bad relationship. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't die. Huh? Uh, you're doing, you're doing something on the road, so I just said, "Don't die." Wow. Well, you know what? Hell just despite you, I'm gonna to die. And a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items? Messages. Phone. Phone. Messages. Oh. Messages. Michael. Oh. Hey there, Cass. I just got word you're heading to Massachusetts. That's quite the trip. Me. Hey, Miller. Yep. I'm on the tarmac. Good times. Michael. Really? <laughs> That's a pretty long flight. Why Massachusetts? Me. Long indeed, but necessary. Sorry to be so cryptic, but it's important do? that I go. Right. Michael, um. okay. If you ever need to email me again, I'll be waiting. Me, I'll bring you back some Boston cream pie and we'll get to those emails. Promise. Boston cream pie. 
messages. Right. Me messages. Okay, we can't access anything else. Oh, here we go. Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. I really hope this relationship, the relationship she had, wasn't a really bad one. How many drugs can I put my wife on? Ah, it is. It's right here. Open lock. What would Dr. Breyer use for a code? Something important to him? Doctor, yeah, what would Dr. Blair use for a code? Oh, wait. Dose two. Two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Never mind. I was about to say, why the fuck would he... Uh... Turn, turn to your right. It looked like there was something on the wall from the other side. Oh, I think it was just reflection from the green. That's how that works. Don't know where it's coming from, but sometimes I see this thing. Don't know why, but I just have to paint it. Even if it's just to get it out of my periphery. Check the toilet. Jesus fucking. Oh fucking hell. Did that get you too? Kinda, yeah. What? I'm on I'm only half paying attention. I've got my own game. But I already like this game so oh, man. I suddenly don't feel so e. good. I hate the sound of the metal. It's accurate, though. I mean, well, it's obviously accurate, I just don't like it. Oh. A crib. Scan with Delphi. Delphi, text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. 2118. To be sure, 
but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. No, I the only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. Okay, so what's the code? 2118. Danny, sleep with her. How about you, uh, go fuck yourself? No, I just gotta find my way back. Another voice for an idea. Let's see here. Dose one, 50 milligrams of amipamine, along with a hundred milligrams of morphine for pain. Patient is woozy but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. Isn't morphine bad to give to a pregnant woman, though? Not sure if it's being given to her. But assuming that she is the patient he's talking about, then yeah, probably. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Cha-ching! Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes... I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. Okay, Dr. Husband might need to I don't like where this is going. Abusive. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's clearly leading the signs to that. Yeah, I'm hoping this is after the pregnancy. One, some kind of woman, woman. Somehow, somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two, other people, seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three, that song. Four, the noises. Five, misaligned yeah, chakras? Was she having visions too? Oh, hi. Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Uh... Daddy. Uh... That might be a bit of cheating. I don't... well, maybe, yeah. My first inclination there was, like, to, like, asking them to actually show up and spend time with them in bed. So this is after the pregnancy. But at least he's not doing this to her while she's pregnant. Oh, wait. There's actual 
Oh, hi there. There's actual arcade machines. How, how rich were they? Because I've looked up how much these cost. They're like a thousand each. Well, yeah, and that's today's money. Another audio log. Found one of Felicia's paintings today. While I did in fact encourage her to take up this new hobby after seeing this piece, I... Well, it sickened me. It made me question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject matter. Oh no, my wife is drawing things I find spooky. Uh, this guy would not like my drawings. <laughs> that was well, a good thing you're not as white. What's wrong, Hatchet? Nothing's wrong anymore. Oh, hi there. That was a, a floating deer head. Oh. of rocks. Got a shit ton of rocks. Grab crystal. Oh, I'm sorry, not pots. Crystals. First, the sage brushes. Crystals now this. Rough. How does malachite crack? No, crystals are crystals. It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? Solarium. I know how to raise my baby. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. Okay. I'm starting to feel like the husband is not the bad one in a relationship now. I mean, at the same time, this woman is obviously dealing with a whole shit ton of BS. Besides, you can always have a Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation where, you know, it's kind of both parties being abusive at the same time. Yeah. Dose 3. Attempted a blockade of presynaptic dopamine reuptake, but this has accelerated patient psychosis. Going to try a cocktail of meprotoline, amoxapine, and trazodone. Symptoms not typical postpartum and seem to be triggered in certain parts of the home. Okay. Considering hypnosis. Psychosis. Interesting. I know 
Tower is still in story. It does have really good stickers. E. It does kind of sound like where this all would lead. Apparently, there was a, a ghost that's just a little table. Ne I guess I'm just a ceramic tiles. Yeah, that's what that sounds like. Keeping these, because at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know oh. how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it. What? The house was already haunted, and he's trying to prescribe away her having seen the haunting. Uh, At least that's what it sounds like to me so I've far. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. Why did it force me to look over here? What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Oh wait, these letters? No, it's just... No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was about to spell out something. That was because there was a whole bunch of stuff in the way. Yeah. Why Katana? Why am I still seeing it? Oh. Now who the fuck is Betty? Mm. Yeah, what I'm guessing is that he started trying to prescribe away her. Uh. What the fuck is this? Hello? Cold. 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 Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. What are you walking on?
fuck? Oh, whoever you are. I'm not afraid of you. Oh. You hear me? You can't scare me. Like, could you kindly fuck off? Starting to think this has less to do with ghosts and more to do with fucking aliens, because what the fuck are you spitting in? I don't know. Uh, the, uh. Stop hitting it! <laughs> We're doing a nice squish sound. Listen to this one. April 2nd. Yeah. Patient is once again sedated and resting. Part of me wonders if the strange sounds around this house are just signs of its age. I'm frightened of this place and of my own wife. I spend most of my time in the trying to rocking and watching the baby. I have to warn you. Baby, gotta move fast. I need a fire extinguisher. Big house and not enough proper fire safety techniques set up. Stop fucking with me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Sir, just actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have a literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. What the fuck? They started summoning demons or demons or some shit. What the fuck? Patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer. Wait a moment. What's that? I uh I must be hearing things. I. I need more sleep. Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... Something burning? Felicia? No, 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 this... This is how it ends. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive. Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it! What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! Oh. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now.
Join you now. That there, there's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps. Your phonograph. Anything. Oh. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. Did the sister show up trying to figure this out what's going so on? Shit! The rope, I need to head back there, stat. Felicia, I'm coming. Yeah, try to find my way around this goddamn house. Goodbye, Richard. Goodbye, sweet baby girl. I'm off to visit with a girlfriend. Oh, shit. Felicia, why? What happened? It wasn't your fault. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing this? What the hell is the point of any of this? a spry old man hand in its locket. It was inscribed, Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking about? Same house, but no, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need. Needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. code that's got to be important may as well start there okay 
uh, for this, um, you know what this house is reminding me of, Hatchet? Mm hmm? No end house. Mm. Because, like, both houses literally fuck with your mind. In a way. Oh, yeah, but it's not... It's not the exact like, same. Yeah. It's also not the most unique thing. Yeah. But, fair. I'm very proud to have my name and time on the girls' track banner, but I hold the best time overall. You've said to be grateful with what I have, but what I have is the school record. I'd like to formally petition to have my name sewn on there. to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Can't you use your cane? Might need something with a proper hook on it. Yeah, it's like if I remember correctly, most uh uh, canes used by visually impaired people, um, don't actually have hooks on them. Uh, Basically wait. just a retractable stick. Where am I? Oh man, I like that music. Uh, I'm sorry. English? Anglais? Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Mo de pass. Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Why should, do I feel scared of what that person is studying? <clears throat> There's a lot Perhaps of good animals in here. E Connecting to a live community user. Ah. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm hey, Jerry. Just not Jerry. Not Jerry. Cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Yikes. Um, huh? Someone wrote the word Duro what? over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Weird. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You alright, Finch? Yeah, I'm good. Just got startled. Oh. 
Let's see, Daddy. I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I'd put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father. Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. <sighs> that can't be good. Great sirens. Well, Betty specifically has been. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. <clears throat> Thank you for your interest in the women Air Force service pilots. Unfortunately, all our wasps must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, that's just foolish. I'm a fast learner and... Oh. Who's crying over spilt milk? Once more onto the breach. All right, yeah, so this seems to be, uh, like, even though we're in this mansion, where the fuck, these events are taking place in, uh, wartime England. Yeah, but we have a war. It's, uh, possibly war, like, World War II, do. or, like, if I remember correctly, I was going to say, if I remember correctly, World War II was the main war in which there were significant bombings in London. Mainly, uh, but due to Nazis using Blitzkrieg tactics. E. No, they never got to the, like, land invasion part of those tactics. This is kind of interesting. Chantal. Yeah. Maybe this Chant would work at the door. Chantal? Who the hell is Chantal? Mm. Probably one of my favorite pieces of trivia from World War II is, um... Stretching. One of my favorite pieces... One of my favorite pieces of trivia, I don't know if I've mentioned this, um, is that, uh, during World War II, uh, the, the bad German party, uh, decided to start building a completely, uh, decided to start building a completely wooden, uh, fake airbase to try to confuse uh the allies right well uh the raf were uh keyed into what they were doing very early on in it so they meticulously waited until the fake airfield was completed and then they drove a plane over it and dropped a single wooden bomb on it oh it my god it's not explosive at all. They just dropped a, a a a chunk of wood on the wooden base, and we still have the the fake bomb in a museum somewhere. Chantal. That, that's pretty funny. Yeah. That is pretty pretty funny. I just love the fact that they spent 
the time and effort it takes to have a pilot go out and drop that. <laughs> Just to throw a middle finger at them. <laughs> Truly chaotic good. Which is sad to say, because it's also the, the, the fucking RAF. There's an RAF. Like, sort of an organization or something? Yeah, uh, Royal Air Force. Oh, Royal. Well, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. It's London's Air Force, and thus it was a major arm of their colonism. colonialism. That's a bad party. Oh. I understand the stress is a war puts on the man gene, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take oh, so you're actually playing oh, what you need. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean Tash has to go now. <laughs> Something tells me this is not the standard edition of Corpse Party. I thought that was a JRPG. That's a real life RPG. That's not. This isn't D and D, dumbass. the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no vision has ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. country like a member of the family. She is the mother who nurtures you, the father who shows you right from wrong, and the brother who teaches you honor. They must have forgotten the little sister who pushes you toward greatness. Gross. Wait, so, so is she learning how not to be, like, nationalistic or something? Maybe. Maybe. That'd be kind of interesting. That'd be an interesting, like, storyline to go through. Like, discuss. Mm -hmm. hmm. John Tree Book. Oh, oh, yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. I'm sure that they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss to type it? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet. Ah, sexism. I love her. Surprising. I love her. I love her conversation. Those... That was actually kind of good. But... Oh, this is a hide stuff. That's good to know. Hide under the covers. Become like me at all times. Oh. Oh, now it's showing the trenches, it looks like. Oh. Oh, hi there. Oh. Uh. It's not fine. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it was Bob. That's who it was. Meanwhile, Bright and I, I look don't at like it. Bob. 
Meanwhile, Bright and I are looking at Daredevil like, eh, first time. Yeah. <laughs> that one meme. <laughs> Eager for more Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, we are unable to offer you Malarkey. Malarkey? Offer you Malarkey? Let's see what I can do at that, home. That sounds like a bad offer. Very, very least. I'm coming thing? Yeah, I'm Alright, here, all the gutter. <laughs> Dear Betty, thank you for your enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> No, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Perhaps I could appeal again to Roger. Oh. He might listen to reason. Or sexism. This is a friendly reminder of one of uh, another really fun history fact. There, uh, in the early 1900s, a campaigning to be elected as, uh, fuck, what's the term? Prime Minister Winston Churchill, uh, had spoken out against, uh, suffrage for women. And as such, an Irish suffragette, whose name now slips my mind, took to following him around in public, and any time he tried to speak, she would start very loudly clanging a bell. Oh my god. That's, okay, you, you know, uh, have you seen the meme where it's like, you won't, I, I'm not getting any sleep because of you, you're not getting any, you won't be getting any sleep because of me thing? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was good to me. But... Hey, actually, look, it's the deer ghost again. Right. I'm pretty sure that's just a deer head. Oh wait, no, what the fuck? It's got a tiny body! Yeah, that's why I said deer ghost. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> you scan it sideways. Don't fly. Clicks <laughs> to speech. Sure how much wording you're gonna get. That's a really good program. Nothing but static. Maybe it's because you picked, stained it sideways. These are the sounds your text-to-speech app are supposed to sound like. Behind you. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no, the deer ghost broke out. I swear to God, if they, if this is like meant to be some kind of Wendy boy shit again. I have Busta in case it's Wendy boy shit. E. Uh, Mary Mal Maloney, that's the name of the suffragette. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, um, this is an excellent doorway. I think those are pillows. Yeah, those are pillows. That's a cabinet plate. Or a closet. Ha! Betty, oh. Betty, Betty, Betty. We don't need anyone else to run the switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. Wow. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Wow. And today's game theme, sexism and blindness. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screwdriver. Yes, Gene, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. I am coming for you. I'm coming. Aww. I'm coming for you, Gene. It's, it's, it's really sad, but my mind's going other places. Shut up, Bright. <laughs> okay, oh. look if you're there, Bonk, Bright. Oh. Oh. There's a bunch of Braves. Hold on just a little longer, Jesus. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Wow. That got the best real for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Ash, don't make us don't make it sadder than it already is. And choose to stay strong too. Oh, we got the pole for the attic. I should really check out that attic. Oh, wait a minute. We're Love talking the about fact World War II and Addicts. Uh, I man. don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. This implication. I swear I, I to just... fuck. I just want to say I love the fact that everyone immediately reacts to my my just like half remembering that song. Yeah. I w I didn't even think I could be picked up on the mic. I thought I was speaking too quietly. No, we heard you. Also, she says no. Do not check out anything. Go home as soon as I said the attic thing. Dear Jean, I haven't heard from you in three weeks. Where are you? This is unlike you. And the house has been quiet. Yours forever, Betty. I wonder why she didn't sing this. Maybe because before she sent the letter, she got told that the person was dead. Or at the very least, someone that she loves, it seems. Some more shit. Don't fight. Text to speech. 
Betty. I hope this letter finds you well. Echo Bluff must be lonely with you there alone. Have you heard from Jean recently? I wish I could be there but the work here at the Richmond shipyards is vital to the war effort. With Jean in the army that big house must be difficult for you to maintain. I pray every night for Jean. If he were to die over there I'm not sure if mother could handle it. According to the stories we hear at the shipyards the way captured soldiers are treated sounds like a fate worse than death. Indications are this will be a long war, but take comfort in your wonderful home. Love, Eddie. Comfort in your wonder- What? How the fuck is that- What? That's supposed to be comforting. Oh god, people are supposed to know might die, but, um... If you get any mud or dirt in it, you'll be spending more time cleaning it off than paying attention. But at least they weren't captured by them Dermans. It ain't gonna be a cream pump. Every second counts, Gene. That was the shooting range. Yeah, I just, I just said you're, you're in a lower floor. The attic is the topmost floor. Dingus. My luck has finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line, and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week, and we'll soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. Did something happen to the Silver Star? <laughs> Well, no, I think it's implying that, like, she had to get to Europe to find out about him passing. <laughs> Don't get on boats, says Chew. Uh, Chew, I've actually been on a boat. It's slow as fuck. Boats are based. Based yeah, boats. boats are based. It's the house! There is no ship! Listen, Cassie, Betty ain't alive anymore. Jean was stronger. It exploited you. I'm sorry. 
I promise I will put an end to this. Wait, the ticket from my dream. This is it. The way to my man in Europe. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees me. I'm coming for you, Jean. Just hang in a bit longer. Oh, there goes the turner. Oh, yeah. Here again? Does this mean I solved it? Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet, but then I was told they were for protection. Old Tully would sworn it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. A woman again. is a different time. Again. Damn it. Didn't enter any phone booths or police boxes. Wait. Wait, how can you see that like that? But everything else. Wait, what? I'm guessing it's the sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe it's sound quality then. Oh, no, like, oh. Uh, the theme of the game is that the main character is blind. So you can only see using sound. The tapping that Bright's doing is, uh, using the cane. Yeah. Ah, Commander Tartar. I don't- I don't understand that reference. Me neither. The fuck is that? Carter. Carter. <laughs> Just walked it right into that shit. <laughs> Quit stalling. Fix the damn door, or we'll kick it down. We will see what's in that basement, Mr. Bosch. Senator Tartar was on the wall, main antagonist of Splatoon 2 DLC. Oh. Uh. Uh-huh. I saw that dear ghost bitch out of the my fucking eye. I guess that's another switch I have to play to. Awesome. Up 
other girls. Let's have a sleepover and talk about boys. Oh, God, it's, it's watching wherever I go. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, no, no. Mm-mm, no. Fuck you. It was an AI created by a human passed down our knowledge to the next intelligent life form to evolve after our extinction, but he was disgusted by the evolved sea life. So he decided to try and do a heckin' G word. E. Yeah, now he's the one look to keep. Oh god, it's Stewie Griffin. I don't like that. It's Stewie Griffin. In what way is that like Stewie Griffin? That's so cool. What the? Okay, so right? There's a I don't think you. <laughs> No, there's a meme where Stewie Griffin says mommy over, mommy and mom over and over and over again. Uh. It, it's a meme, that's why I said it's, oh, it's Stewie Griffin. That's, that's the reason why I said that. It's, it's, it's actually a meme. It sounds like something I'd say, to be honest, says Chew. Nah. Chew, we already know that. Almost as if Chew is a dirty little degenerate mouse. Right. Poo, he is. Okay, go. What? Friendly eyes app. Connecting to a live community user. Are you at some sort of amusement park or escape room or something? This shit's unreal. Wow, paper's just everywhere. A few old-timey photographs of girls. One of them has a shaved head. Some of the pics are from far away, others are close up like mug shots. Poor things, they don't look well. Ah, wow, there's a schedule here for a few different people. Regimented, a date planned to the minute. Being watched by someone. Oh, I'll be no. here all day. Don't... Oh, no, don't tell me I'm on the German party boat. Uh, Please. Well, right, you ready to get a very slight taste of what I've been doing in Wolfenstein? Or what my ancestors went through? That sounds fucked up. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, luckily, my. You're saying? Did I you get cut off. I was saying, I don't think. I, I was gonna say, like, I don't think my ancestors did, were. I, I hope they weren't, but, like, none, none of the ancestors I come from were, so I'm gonna count that as. Well. Some of my ancestors did do some, like, similar things to Wolfenstein, I guess. Uh, Somewhat similar. Base. One of my, uh, one of my, like, great, uh, uncles was a paratrooper. Ah. Uh. So, just no, went behind enemy it. lines. Don't make me drink but, it. Yeah. Oh. I don't like this one bit. Oh god, what do they feed the children? Um... Oh fuck, this is... something not good. Oh fuck, this 
This might be some kind of, uh, either internment camp or, like, uh, asylum that did quote-unquote medical research. Oh. Whether or not it's in the so, World War II era. So... <laughs> okay. It's making me think of uh, the introduction to Lord Farquaad's land. I, I did that. Me, I'm like, oh fuck. I think I know which one of the two it, this one is. I think this is the internment camp. That's what I was thinking, yeah. See what? Wait. Oh. I did not see that. Um... I'm pretty sure that child used the gun against... Against, you know, th those guys, so... Base. Base child. Base child. Use that against them. Well, oh, that's a not against you. No, 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 not against you. As of right now, the child's shooting at right. <laughs> Cal not beast anymore, Cal not beast anymore. <laughs> Child says we have nothing to lose but our chains. Okay. It looks like she doesn't see me now. For now. Need to get don't, into that door. Don't test it! Whatever you don't do, don't test what the, she can see you. That's... Okay. Also, apparently I took like seven bullets and I'm fine. Yeah, you're a badass bitch. Please, can I pick something else? Yeah, you're, you're, I'm cold in you're this. Matt Mordock. No. Actually, no, not Matt Mordock. Yeah. Actually, well, yeah, Matt Mordock has a super human ability. Uh, I, I don't know, I think. Guess you, yeah. I don't think this character I don't, I does. Guess you didn't see this. Hmm? What? Uh, see when what? When I clicked on this, I can't redo it. But uh, when I clicked on this, it's it, the child's voice can't say, "No, please, please don't make word this." It's too cold to wear this. Oh no. Yeah, I'm what? not getting good feelings about this, so... Oh god. At least it's not like the last game. Like, last night. Well, last yeah, because there's actually reasons oh, like, for this shit to be coming up. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, this is, like, having... This guy is a, like... Yeah. Happen. Yeah. Rather than a... having a random child start dropping yeah. slurs. Yeah. For sure, the puppet was about to take yeah. out. He had to become a big shot. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Choo I see True's message about the dress thing. Oh, uh, oh no. Uh, That's gonna have to be a bit, be a yikes for me, Chief. Hmm. Yeah, something's telling also, me. Also, you're saying hatchet. I was gonna say it something. Could be a... oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I, was gonna gonna... Yeah. I was gonna say, like, yeah. assuming this is in fact some kind of internment camp, then what they're probably dealing with is either uh, a tr uh, a trans girl, or I should say, a trans boy, or uh. Just a girl that wants to have a more masculine uh, expression. Yeah, masculine expression, masculine physique or something. Yeah. yeah well. uh, 
No. Oh. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. They just want to be your friends, Brian. <laughs> That sounds creepy oh, as fuck. Go away. Bad idea. Pastry or not. Jesus Christ. She says no one likes your fucking fake good. No one listening. Congratulations. Pick up basement puppet, uh, puppet key. It's not puppet key, it's puppet key. Puppet key. So, so not puppets, they're puppets. Oh, she's right. Is she using like a, what is it called? It sounds like she was like reloading, yeah. like manually. in front of <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ follow Bright's channel for more tri tricks and tips on survival <laughs> <laughs> how am I surviving getting shot multiple times probably cause it's ghost bullets or my titanium you did set it to story. No. Oh yeah, story would would do it. Takes all of the punch out of the bullets. Oh, this is a hiding area, not a door.
Luckily, I'm out of the danger area. What's this? To go back upstairs. Not the best idea to threaten the police, Mr. Bosch. Bosch. Oh, code. Oh, what the fuck? Remember that uh, Betty had mentioned Bosch? Yeah, it means forest. Yeah. So Bosch was a person. A couple dancing. It's really romantic. Very exciting. Yeah. I think they're doing two. the tango. Talk later. Oh, they're doing the tango? Make that three. You sure? High five anyone? No. It's a hand with all the fingers played. Oh. Four, two, five. Bummer. Three's a crowd, man. Bye. Okay, uh, four, two, five, three. 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 I'm pretty sure a toddler could have solved that. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was trying to do 5243. I tried to. 7475. I don't like how there's a bunch of hidey holes. Even though I'm sworn with it, it means there may be a chase at some point. There will be an arm in the army of gun babies this time. I mean, they did say to not go in the basement. Oh, we gotta go, f we gotta find another well, code. Well, going in the basement is not a good idea. No matter what, so. Unless, either you wanna die or like, unless you have to go in there. Conversion therapy. Oh fuck, that's right. The the dress thing. Oh fucking hell. What have we here? Looks like old fashioned mm -hmm. patterns. Huh. Yeah, it says Danvers State Lunatic Asylum, but it's drawn all over. Date, time, scribbles over specific rooms. I think. I think someone's planning on fleeing the cuckoo's nest. Nothing. Tough crowd. <laughs> no code. Anyway, 
Um, I have to go give mom a rub, so I will be back in a bit. Okay. Oh, there's a doll in here now. Sorry. For what? Well, I don't know. Everything. No need. Listen, I board in another 15. Stay safe. Or leave. We can finish this thing together. I can't. You can't? Or you won't? No, I mean I physically can't. The house won't let me. That's alarming. I'll be there as soon as I can. He doesn't need you. You pushed him away. Excuse me? She doesn't even know yet. in the slightest. <laughs> Before fuck that thing. Good thing I'm not afraid of dolls. <laughs> Connecting to a live community user. Hi again. Let's see, pictures coming through now. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. The, the app tutorial video doesn't exactly prep you for this sort of thing, but uh, I need you to keep calm. If you need me to call the police or even an ambulance, let me know ASAP and I will get you help. In the meantime, he's, he's the one who's not being calm. Something blocking the train by you. <laughs> Stop the bleeding if you No! 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 Wait, so are these like demon children? Just do it anyway. If you think I need help, then get me help. Oh, that is a. Children are demons as too. No, they aren't. Too. No, I'm not a. I'm not a demon child. I'm an unborn child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Just... It tells me to pull over, but I can't pull over. Okay, so there's a bunch of doors I need to get to somehow. Oh, I probably need to find 
fun path. Oh, examine doll. And do this. Day and night I toil because my girls are sweeter than sleep. Angels of my own creation, whatever they need, I shall devise. It doesn't rhyme, says Chew. stairs. Oh. Of course. Want to somehow find out how to turn off that power. like the wires connect to the Oh, what the hell? We're going to need to take a look around, Mr. Bosch. I don't understand. What is this about? A warrant to search the premises, Mr. Bosch. Now step aside. This locomotion experiment 8 has failed. The adjustments I made were not enough. Regrettably, for now, they will have to use these chairs. There must be a more elegant answer. Wait, is that the number it said on the police badge? No, it doesn't have. What the fuck does 1312 mean, Shoot, I'm confused. Read Pokemon's message, A cap. No, 1312 is A I'm still confused, but less confused.
Right? It's the letter numbers. Oh. Like the letter, uh, the numbers in the alphabet. Yeah. A is the first letter in the alphabet, C, C is the third letter, and B is the second letter. to deal with what? I think you need need to get a refund on your uh, doctorate. <laughs> Actually, no. Your I think your institution will want the refund <laughs> <laughs> to give you the refund. Actually, no. They're for profit. They probably want it. Well, they're greedy. I mean. Yeah. that were poisoned. So those are dolls, not ch not like the children. Oh, 
and only made some verse. Not an apple. They are coming. And I do not think okay. I will fight them when they arrive. What child would normally eat this? This someone handed me an apple over this, even as a child. I would not put this fucking in my mouth. Richard burned, Felicia hung, Betty drowned, and Heinrich was stoned to death. I don't like any don't of the ways it. this could connect. My husband is a righteous man, but I am afraid his love of God may perhaps lead to the destruction of an innocent. children mobbed her. They squealed as she made the small wooden doll jump and dance, working the strings faster than their eyes could see. It was as though she breathed life into the thing. He was speaking about Susanna again, talking of fire. Then he spoke of how fine her land appeared. Likes fire. Shut up, Chew. So what I can save. Yeah. I think that's all I'm gonna have for for now. Hmm. How do you like it so far? It's actually a pretty interesting concept. Like, scary-wise, I mean, there were some really good scares, because you can't see anything, so, like, as soon as you hit the king, there's, like, an entity right there. Like, it's, it's, it's a really interesting concept. She would guide the raid, but he can't. Uh, who, who we ra do you want to raid to? Monica Cine roll, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh Bookworm, do your last words while we're while I'm setting this up. Since I won't be streaming Splatoon 3 tonight or tomorrow. Ah. Uh... Barely enough Streamlabs didn't disconnect.
so maybe yesterday was just a Streamlabs issue. Maybe they were just having really bad issues. I hope that's the case. Like, comment, subscribe and follow Bright or else you might find yourself trapped in this weird house. Also give her money if you can. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, follow and follow Bright or else you might find yourself trapped in this weird house. Also give her money if you can, says Bookworm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, Chew last words go if you have any. Milk chocolate is superior. Dark chocolate and white chocolate are abominations. Screw you, I love dark chocolate better than the other two. And plus, dark chocolate is actually healthier for you than the other two. Oh yeah, darn, did you know that dark chocolate it does have some health benefits? Yeah. Okay. Some people I'm friends with don't know, so I wasn't sure if you knew, knew or not. All right, Adarn, last words go. Um, follow, subscribe, right as a bird. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Danger Noodles. Sadly, Hatchet's not here, so they can't do their last words. But um, we'll be raiding Monica Cine Roll. Adorna, what should we say as a raid? It's up to you. Um, um let's see. Hmm. Maybe something like, uh, Praise the Chew or something. I don't know. <laughs> Praise the Chew. I, I, I like that one. <laughs> even though it wasn't even... Praise the Chew Woo. Oh, Praise the Chew Woo. It has... It has yeah. <laughs> Chew says, no, we're doing it. That's where... We're, book form, yes, we are. Do it. All right. Starting to read in you, 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 you You saying no makes me want to do it more. You know yeah. that, right? Something else. No, we're doing it, Chew. Three, two, one. The great Dr. Bright, thank you so much for the, for the read of two. How you doing? <laughs>